Hello and welcome. You're watching View on World is One. My name is Mohammed Saleh, and let's start by taking a quick look at what is making headlines at this hour. The Israel Hamas talks mediator Qatar has said that the IDF's Rafa invasion has set the truce negotiations backward. Adding the talks are almost at a stalemate, Doha has said that Israel is not even considering the ending the war as an option. A retired Indian colonel working as the United Nations Security Coordinator has been killed in an Israeli attack in Gaza. When the vehicle he was travelling came under attack in Rafa, the Colonel Anil Kale is the first international casualty for the United Nations staff since the beginning of the war in Gaza Strip. A Ukrainian drone attack derails a freight train and sparks a massive blaze in a diesel tank in Volgograd city in southern Russia. The Russian media has said that several hundred meters of railway tracks have now been mangled with wagons strewn alongside the lane. In a surprise visit to Kiev, the American Secretary of State Anthony Blinken tells Volodymyr Zelensky that American military aid for Ukraine is on its way. He is also trying to assure the Ukrainians that this American aid will make a real difference against the Russian onslaught on the battlefield. And in sharp contrast to the stance of the United States in 2018 that granted a waiver for the Chabahar port, the State Department now says that any entity considering business deals with Iran will risk sanctions. This is India has inked a 10-year deal to operate Iran's key Chabahar port. And Russian President Vladimir Putin will visit China on the invite of leader Xi Jinping this week. He'll be in Beijing from Thursday till Friday. And this is the Russian leader's second trip to China in a span of just the last six months. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.